Thanks for staying with us on Sunrise this Tuesday. Now, following the success of the inaugural Sporting Chances Street Soccer Program during this year's World Cup, young guns around South Africa have another chance to express themselves. As part of FIFA's Ticket Fund legacy, the beautiful game plays on in the streets of South Africa. The launch of the annual uh, Kia Street Soccer League program takes place soon, with over 4,500 children in 30 different regions throughout South Africa taking part. To talk more on this, we are joined by Brad Bing, the MD of Sporting Chance, who are the organizers of this program. Brad, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Rory. Brad, obviously there's a lot of hard work that's gone on before this uh, launch of the Street Soccer League program. Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, it started off uh, in 2010, in fact 2009, when uh, FIFA needed to uh, or wanted to leave a legacy behind in South Africa and they created the Ticket Fund pr uh, project. Uh, with that, we were approached by one of FIFA's partners, Kia Motors, to, to run a program throughout South Africa. The condition was we'd run it for three consecutive years initially and then take it on a, on a larger scale thereafter. Uh, it was three, three phases. Uh, the first phase was health education throughout South Africa, and wh what we focused on primarily was uh, um, personal hygiene of children, um, every kid who participated in our program. The second one was the Kia Street Soccer Program, and then the third phase was to take every child who participated in that program to a FIFA 2010 World Cup match. And in 2011, um, what people didn't realize that the, the program in 2010, Rory, actually won what they call the KMC uh, CSR, which is a Corporal Social Responsibility Global Award. So we received a, an award, well, Kia Motors received the award in um, November last year, and obviously us putting the program together for them uh, accepted it very gladly. And this year's program started off in January, also three phase. The first phase was health continuing the health education program. The second phase was to train up all the coaches throughout South Africa. So when we went to, exam for example, to um, Am Amazulu down in KwaZulu-Natal, we teamed up with Amazulu, which is a PSL side. We had Clive Barker th down there training up all the coaches. So you can see where, where, why it was so important. And the third phase is now the street soccer, which uh, has launched in the rest of South Africa, but we're launching in Johannesburg uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, the 20th of April. I think it's so important for the public out there in South Africa to be aware of this, because I know there were some complaints typically leveled at FIFA after the Soccer World Cup. They came, they made their money, and they left. But here's evidence of a very clear legacy that they planning on leaving through your involvement and Kia's involvement. Now, Sepp Blatter, he obviously keeps quite a keen eye on this project as well. Yeah, very much so. Uh, we keep FIFA informed of what's going on. You know, um, part of the legacy in the, in, the, in the sale to South Africa was to make sure that the legacy was left behind. we continuing that legacy. Uh, FIFA voted it last year their 2010 project. Uh, so we were delighted, you know, so you can see why FIFA want to get behind it. And we're also delighted that, you know, we obviously got a good sponsor in Kia Motors. Uh, those guys came on, on board and, and Ray Levine was, has been a pleasure to deal with. And, uh, and obviously we're now rolling it out into five cities throughout South Africa involving 4,500 children. And we've got 800 uh, coaches that we've trained up. And the lovely thing about that, Rory, as well is not only have we trained them up, you know, when the State of the Nation address in February uh, was to create employment uh, for South Africans, and this program for the next three months will create employment for 800 people from our respective communities. Oh, if that's not a legacy, I don't know what is. Brad, tell us a bit more about the involvement of the PSL teams in, in the Street Soccer League program. Yeah, uh, very, very fortunate to have them on board. We approached the PSL with regards to what we wanted to achieve. You've got to understand that um, one of the concerns I've had over the years is the fact that the sustainability to every program we run in South Africa. So one of the things that we've, we've turned around to do to the, uh, with the PSL is when we're in Cape Town, for example, we're with AX. So w when we launch, for example, in Mannenberg, for that matter, what we do is we, we make sure that the, the PSL is there. We, they bring down their players. They use that project as a, uh, well, our project as an opportunity to identify natural talent and flair. And it's their job then to take down the names and to invite them to trials, which is exactly what happened with Orlando Pirates last year. They invited numerous kids to trials that they identified through the, the street soccer program, and uh, six of them have now joined the academy uh, up here in Johannesburg. And you could be looking forward to uh, future careers as professional footballers. Well, we certainly hope that we, the, the program facilitates the opportunity for them to, to continue a career in soccer, you know. 
Now, you know, we're chatting earlier on off air. There's obviously also plans to roll out this uh, street soccer league program into, into other African countries ahead of Rio 2014. Yeah, that's right. Um, um, one of the things that we are negotiating at the moment with, with FIFA is, is there's, a, there's a soccer tournament in 2014 in, in Brazil. Um, you got to remember that the, the 2010 World Cup wasn't just a South African World Cup, although sometimes we think it, it was. It was a Southern African, one African World Cup. And one of the, 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 the um, criteria that we're discussing with FIFA at the moment is that we want to take this project into Zimbabwe. It's got legs to go into Zim. It's got legs to go into Gaborone, in, into Botswana. And we certainly know that the, the communities of Namibia are looking for this. So that is what we are planning at the moment. We're obviously working on the business structure and the business strategy, but the idea is to go in there is to find a champion team from each uh, country in Southern Africa to eventually find a champion Southern, Af Southern African t uh, team to participate in, in the street soccer programs in Brazil in 2014 and hopefully, if I can uh, negotiate correctly, um, get these youngsters to attend the opening ceremony in 2014 in Brazil. What a fantastic opportunity. Now, obviously, through FIFA and Sporting Chance, you're creating opportunities for kids to develop their footballing skills. I mean, every, every South African and every African kid loves their football. But you're going to present them with the opportunity. No footballer out there in the world hasn't got to where they've got without hard work, and they still need to put in the hard yards. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of hard work, you know, uh, uh, Rory. What, what we, one of the things we always talk to the kids about is we, we, we try to work, we try to understand the bigger picture of South Africa. And, and during the State of the Nation address, we spoke very, or the pr president spoke very clearly about... Um, about education and, uh, and employment. And we're trying to put criteria to our, our project because uh, they're becoming so sought after by these kids. They want to participate because you can imagine last year participating and going to a World Cup, going to Soccer City and Cape Town Stadium, etc. I mean, what a privilege. It was a privilege for me. So one of the criteria that we make is, and we don't get it 100%, so I'm never going to say to you that it is 100%, but the criteria is the kids have got to go to school to participate in the program. So we're trying to work with government to make sure that we get South Africa's children educated. We're trying to work with the Department of uh, Sports and Rec that all these kids who are getting educated now belong to a sports club within their community. So you grow community clubs, which is vitally important. And when they are uh, playing sport in the communities, you know full well that they're not doing crime. So if they're not doing crime and they're playing sport and getting themselves educated, we've got a wonderful future. And hopefully our talent scouts out there from the respective PSL teams throughout South Africa are identifying talent to bring them through the system in the youth systems to go through and be former or, or, or future Bafana, Bafana or PSL players, you know. I think the uniqueness about the program which, which uh, hits home for me is focusing on developing of coaches and footballers. But they always talk about get kids off the streets and onto the sports field. Now you guys have approached it from quite a new, uh, unique concept. You're going to keep them on the streets by just playing sport. Well, what we've done, Rory, is, is we, all we've done is we've, we, we, we're facilitating the opportunity for those kids in those communities that can't get to uh, the facilities out Provide there. a bit more structure for them to Correct, play. because, so, I mean, we've done a lot of research throughout South Africa through our Health of the Nation program on, uh, on, on what makes a sportsman and especially how we're going to get our, our children from the townships to the big time. And, you know, there the are three key components is access to facilities, access to equipment, and access to professional coaching. And the research has also shown us that you create your norms by the age of 12. So if we haven't got those kids on facilities with the right equipment, with the proper coaching by 12, we've, we've skipped a generation. So it's vitally important that we... We, 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 take this, we, take, we take the facilities to the communities, and that's all we've done, like we've done with our street uh, cricket programs, we've just created the street soccer. And it's wonderful. If you came down to Alex and you actually saw it, you've got guys on the roofs, you've got guys up poles, you've got guys making fires on the side of the road. It's a vibe second to nothing, and it's brilliant. And it's exactly what I believe South Africa needs, because facilities are lacking within our communities. Brad, thank you so much for your time this morning. We wish you and Sporting Chance all the best in implementing uh, FIFA's legacy after the FIFA World Cup and uh, the rollout of the, the Kia Street League soccer program. All the best. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Rory. Pleasure. Cheers. That was the MD of Sporting Chance, Brad Bing, who are the organizers of the Street League soccer program. On to your normal sports news now.